Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we headed west down Route 212 South. That makes sense. A uh, bunch of rain, bunch of bogs and marshes, but we managed to make our way there because Crasher Wake went this way to go uh, sing in the rain. We found him and made him go back to the gym. Uh, we did fight all the trainers around there and uh, got, all, got pretty much all the items that we could. We even found a tutor house that had a bunch of move tutors that apparently moved all of the other move tutors from other places in the map and put them under one roof. So, on this episode, now that Crasher Wake is back, we can take on the gym. But I'm also nervous because our rival should be around here somewhere and I have no idea where. Hmm. Because everything says that the rival should be fought before the gym leader. Is he standing in front of the door? He's not standing in front of the door. Hmm. Well, I mean, we should still lead with May because he's gonna start with his flying Pokemon. Is our rival gonna emerge out of the gym? He has been known to leave buildings and run into us. I guess we'll, check. we'll find out. Oh no, he came from behind. Whoops! <laughs> I'm not always gonna plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Cassie? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Well, at least he was considered to not run into us this time. Hi, Blaine! Ooh, Staraptor. The final evolution of Starly. We're finally seeing it. 41! Okay. Uh, well, I think we're about to intimidate each other. No, he doesn't have Intimidate. Well. Oh, that sucks. The Straptor's faster than me. Oh, but there goes its defense. That'll help me a little bit here. I'm kind of glad that we hit Intimidate now. Ooh, that, you know what? It might have lived had it not done close combat. Just an Heracross. Bug and fighting. All right, I need a flying move. Uh, Brent's faster. This might be a, a bad idea, because once again, I don't remember if Bug does anything to Fairy. We'll find out. It doesn't. Okay, good. Also, it's faster than me. Ooh, it has a it has a thing that Koba Berry. Okay, so it had a fairy resisting berry on it, but it is four times weak. I forgot I had the shell bell. I guess our speeds are tied, because I went I went first that time. Yes, get your health back up. They got it. We got one HP back. Arcanine. Uh I mean the obvious choice would be Kendrick. But I feel like I feel like Arcanine's gonna have an electric move. It also has Intimidate, which would be fine, because Kendrick is a special attacker. So let's do Scald. Yep, I thought I had... Th I was assuming it was having Thunder Fang. Live, 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 live. Ooh, oh, it got a crit hit? Don't you dare paralyze. Okay, good. Did I get a crit hit? I'll just one-shot it. Ooh, it's starter, Torterra. Uh huh. What Pokemon's the best for Torterra? Where's my type? Where's my type calculator? I 
And of all of our Pokemon here, it might be better, it might be good to bring in Brent again. Maybe Dwight, I don't know. All right, this is this is his ace, the starter, Torterra. Final evolution of Turtwig, it's grass ground, which means that it's very weak to ice moves, but our Pokemon that has an ice move is Kendrick. I guess May also has an ice move, but she's also hurt. So we're gonna hit it with, oh, I have Heat Wave? No, Air Slash could stab. I think Air Slash would do more anyway. Let me see, Air Slash is 75, Heat Wave is 95, yeah. See, I was debating using either Torterra or, I mean, not, either using Dwight or Brent, but I don't know if Torterra has a better defense or better special defense. I'm assuming defense, because it's a giant turtle. Well, you citrus buried yourself out of yellow health. Good. Not bad leveling up before a gym fight. Azumarill. Ooh. I mean, I guess this is, this is, uh, this is gonna be a good Pokemon to test our skills with for the gym. All right, Azumarill is Water Fairy. Good. All right. Snorlax, no. Ooh, now I feel bad that I didn't listen to that one comment that said I should have given Rose a superpower. Ah, uh, because that would have been a great fighting type move to have. Because now I have nothing. Lovely, okay. So Snorlax is gonna be an annoying Pokemon to deal with, especially with its stupidly high defense. Uh, well, its special defense is higher, so I guess hit it with a attacker, which is Anthony. So we'll keep Anthony out. I'm going to do a quick sunny day. Yeah, I can tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. That way it can't do anything to me, like possibly yawn me. They could body slam. Okay. Anthony's defense is great. I think it's de I think Anthony's defense is our highest. So you can hit me with physical moves. I'll hit you with physical moves right back. Just the Snorlax is gonna have a lot of HP too. I might wanna drink a I might wanna drink a Moo Moo Milk right now. Oh, it has leftovers. Of course it does. It does one more body slam. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get destroyed. I can't be paralyzed for another three turns too. Sunny Day lasts five turns. This is the third turn. I'm I'm dreading a crit. I could send May out just to get Intimidate on. But I would probably be sacrificing it at the same time. Unless Anthony gets that crit hit that I want. Almost. Alright, I outspeed it. There's no way it's gonna heal next turn. Cause it's still in yellow health. Okay, we won. We got we did it. 
Oh, now I get the crit, of course, when it matters, like always. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yes, how many times have you beaten me? <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. But yeah, I joined Mr. Wiggins as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. I... I don't know if the theme song is from the original game or not. <laughs> if it isn't, cool. All right, well, Blaine's defeated. The gym is now open. I had a repel. Okay, well, everyone got a chance to shine during that fight, except for Dwight and Rosa. That's fine. Uh, but May got, May got, May got her thing, and then immediately got taken out, or so we couldn't use her for the rest of the fight without her dying. We didn't lose a single Pokemon. I call that a win. I mean, we won. So I call it a win regardless. But we got the gym now. Crash or wake. The Torrential Masked Master. Oh god, it's raining in here. The gym leader wake. Uh, I mean, Crash or wake. Is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you've got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. Look out for the sprinkler system in the gym, too. Powers of any water type moves. But that's some good battles. Oh, if only I had thunder. If I had thunder, this would be great. But I don't. I don't even have thunderbolt. I have thunder wave. So this might be a good gym to actually use Sunny Day in a lot, then. So if you notice, there is some water in here, and there's some steps, and there's some levels, and there's these things which will float on water. So, as you can see, we have a couple paths here, but those are both exits. And we have a bunch of buttons. Has Blaine been through here yet? He has. All right, so let's just, let's just follow the path that it gives us. So we hit this. That lowers the water level. So now I can't go backwards. Because I will stop right here. My body isn't the only thing I worked on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. Aren't you just a little kid? Tuber Jackie. You can be jacked. <laughs> All right, it's, it's constantly raining inside, which is uh, not in the original game. I love how they said it's the sprinkler system. Oh, I could go with either double kick or spark. Spark works. I'm noticing I might have a little, a little bit of a, of a flaw with my Pokemon setup right now. Both Anthony and May, very good for taking care of water Pokemon, are both physical attackers. So, and neither of them have any special attacks. <laughs> so, if we run into a water Pokemon with high defense, we might be, oh sweet, crit, nice. We might be in danger. War Turtle, cool. We, I, we just glanced over Celio. Am I faster? Really? Yeah, I'm noticing another thing that's bad for our team is that we don't have a lot of good Pokemon with speed. Wow, 
Wow, trainer, you, you just might be tougher than our gym leader. I sure hope so. Thanks for the $150. Maybe I'll do like Wake. I mean, Crash or Wake and wear the same kind of mask. I love how they're all calling him by his normal name and then they just like, oh, no, no, wait, wait. His name is Crash or Wake now because <laughs> he's a wrestler. Well, this takes us, can't go any further that way. He's right there, but he's two levels up. So I need to get a button that brings us two levels higher. Which looks like it might be that one up there. That'll bring us one level higher. I wield the stupendous power of water. Don't think you can win. You're a fisherman. Inside a building. Walter. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, darn it. I should have seen this coming. Well, at least... Okay, th there. That'll help with your attack. All right, let's switch out. Because there's no way that May is doing anything against you. This will hurt a bit. Not much. I hope this kills. Times four. Yes. You never know. Lantern. Um, keep you out. I don't think that changes much. No, you still takes time. You take time too from ground now. Anthony have? He has a Miracle Seed on, right? Sea King. Ooh. What are the odds that Sea King has Peck or a flying type move like that? Probably high. Horn Drill? Aqua Tail, yikes. Look at this stupid Buck Teeth. Kid wins anyway. I'm just bowled over. Water rising and falling is tricky, but don't let it annoy you. If you lose sight of yourself, that's when you're set to lose. What do everyone here feels about getting constantly rained upon? I'm sure, they don't mind because they're here. If they did mind, they wouldn't be in this gym. We'll just we'll keep we'll keep May in front just to get the intimidate off on whoever their leading Pokemon is. Okay, so yellow, orange buttons lower the water, green buttons raise the water, and blue buttons raise the water to the highest. So, bottom level, mid level, high level. I've been around the world going from place to place training Pokemon. This is this gym I've chosen to make my home. You can bet it's tough. Sailor Dinian. All right, that'll work with me. There's no way Pelipper's faster. I refuse to believe it, yeah. Well, actually, I should start believing stuff. <laughs> like I said, none of our Pokemon have a particularly high speed. Krakena. I love that they're giving them starter Pokemon. I'm sorry. First partner Pokemon. You have Intimidate? Eey. 
This might let you survive. What's up with your Bluetooth? Oh, it did live. Well, you're not living this one. Also, what is that white thing underneath its eyeball? That can't be a tooth either. Be in a weird spot on its cheek. All right, well, Maze attack's been compromised. Gold duck. Uh, we'll switch over. Anthony needs level up anyway. I'm sure Power Whip would be less nerve-wracking, except for the fact that it's less accurate. <laughs> if you were to go around the world, I'm sure you'd meet tougher Pokemon. I mean, we're doing fine just in the in the Cinema region for now. Do I have a rare candy? I thought I grabbed one. Last episode. I have two. Ooh. All right, so from here I get to go this way. Did we already, we already fought this kid, but we didn't fight this kid. I can't go around them. I want to become a strong trainer like Crasher Wake. Tuber Caitlin. Can May get to 48? Probably, if she still stays in the lead. Not to mention, we do have the gym, tr the gym leaders Pokemon as well. I will make a quick pit stop back to the Pokemon Center before we get to Crash or Wake. Like, we'll make our way all the way to him and then we'll turn around and leave. Or maybe we just go up and, well, at this point, can we go all the way to the last trainer and not and make our way back? <laughs> Marsh Tom. Ooh, we'll switch just to be on the safe side. I don't, I can't remember if Marsh Tom is already ground type. I want to say no, but they kind of changed it. It is already ground type. Okay. Oh, I hate you. Look how big Marsh Tom's head is. So we've seen a War Turtle. We've seen a Croconaw. A nice crit. And we've seen a Marsh Tom. So we've seen the second version the second stage of all of the starters. Will that mean that someone's gonna have a print plup here? Dugong. Eee? I'm nervous about the ice. But Anthony's so close to leveling up. <laughs> I'm getting greedy. Credit. This is when the crit would matter. Oh, sweet! <laughs> uh, you're too much. Sorry. All right, this will lower the water. I've landed in the most, I've landed in the most fish Pokemon in the world. I've next. I'm, wait, oh. <laughs> I was very confused in how he was phrasing his sentences there. Eric!
I'm... Have they given Lumineon a new type? Lumineon would feel like a Pokemon that they would give the electric type to because it's supposed to be like a glowing fish. Ooh, Ocarina might be bad, especially because it's raining. No, it's still just normal water. I mean, we caught a Finneon, so... Well, I mean, it might have gained a type and would evolve. We've only seen a couple Pokemon. I don't know how crazy they went with evolving or level it with a uh, changing type. We know May has changed. We know... What else has changed? The Trap Inch line might be changed. Like, instead of having a... Uh, instead of being Ground Dragon for their last couple stages, it might be Bug... Ground or Bug Dragon? I don't know. We need to evolve Trap Inch and find out. Or find out where Vibrava and Flygon are. Mr. Viscott, fairy type. Which it doesn't even have in the base game. Yeah, look at our attack and special attack. They're so close. Yet clearly attack is ahead. Scary face. I think this lowers Pokemon attack. Speed. Sharply reduces speed. Hmm. Nah. I hate that I'm still somewhat in the mindset of having nothing but physical, like having nothing but attack attacks. You know, like the child that I am. But it works. But it might not work all that well in this updated game. Hmm. Tentacruel. Grass won't be good against it. Barrier. Raises defense, huh? You might live this, then. That was with two raises to defense. Oh, crap. Okay, Muddy Water's a water type move. Okay. Being number one in the world doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> it's the loneliest number. I figure I got too wrapped up in fishing and neglected training. Alright, so we got two more buttons. This one lowers the water, but also prevents us from hitting the green button there, which raises the water. But, that's actually what we wanted. This is all a trap right here. Because if you hit that one, it lowers the water, but you can't go anywhere. So you have to hit that one to raise the water back up, and then there's no point. All right, we're at the last trainer. Ooh, that was close. I think they both recently, they're both about halfway. Anthony could probably use one. I forgot what the muscle band does. Boost the power of the holder's physical moves. Okay, so that... By 10%. Alright. Okay. Which is good for... May, since all our moves are physical. Like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. If anyone's gonna have... Ooh, Slowbro's Swatter Psychic, so it's good luck using a Psychic move against me. Although it's probably going to use Amnesia, because it usually does, to raise its own stats. I could use Crunch. Crunch is better than Spark here.
<laughs> Never mind, you get no chance. This trainer probably has the print up, if I had to guess. Gastrodon, ugh, I hate you. Which version of Gastrodon is it? Is it East or West? You've seen East. You have West. West is purple pink, right? <laughs> I think I think it is, because you've seen the blue one. Mantine. I did not want to keep battling. Mantine's gonna know a stupid flying type move. normal damage credit anyway I thought I did that was a normal attack Wow oh uh, yep yeah, there's the there's the flying move and yet I counter didn't even wash my hands and with that all the trainers are dead <laughs> all the trainers are dead all right let's raise the water up that gets us to crash or wake but like I said I'm just going to ignore use the shortcuts we just raised up the plumbing in this building must suck Okay. So I think we're I think we're sticking with all in on May and Anthony for this gym. Brent can come out, Dwight can come out. Kendrick can technically come out. It is that Kendrick will be able to do nothing except we'll probably use Kendrick as a healing stall. So like if May or Anthony get fainted or Desperately need heals. We'll switch to Kendrick. Kendrick will take any hits. Kendrick can use Yawn <laughs> to set the get the Pokemon to fall asleep. So that'll be at least a decent thing. Like maybe do a Yawn before we actually start healing. Rosa's a complete sacrifice. If Rosa go, if Rosa has to go out, it's because we have no other option and we need to heal up. And Rosa's gonna die in one hit because Rosa's been dying in one hit regardless. So. Let's just hope for the best. I feel like we're decently trained. I was a little worried when... When uh, Blaine's highest Pokemon was in the 40s. Like, almost 43, I think. Which makes me think that... Crash or Wake's strongest Pokemon might be a 45. But we have been, I mean, thanks to the gym itself, that's boosted, that's boosted Anthony and, and May both almost to 48. May's at 48. I might give, you know what? I might give the rare candies to Rosa just to get Rosa to evolve quicker. But I'll wait for her to gain another level and then use it after she levels up. To take full advantage. All right. Here we are. Have I done a safety save before the other ones? I think I've done like a safety save state. Let me just do that quickly. <laughs> You know, just in case anything awful happens, I don't have to do, like, the whole backtrack and stuff. But if I do faint, then we'll just stay with it. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right. I'm Crasher Wake. 
My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get that done. They didn't even call him Crash Awake in his own leader thing. Oh, what an awful Pokemon to start with. This thing has an ice move. I know. I don't even have to I don't have to, have to like guess. I just know it has one. For any grass any grass uh counters you could probably think of. So to avoid that, I'm gonna get the yawn off. Oh, what an awful switch. It's gonna do it again. I'm faster. All right, well, we got the yawn off for Kendrick. It was not a sacrifice we needed to take. Wow, it did that much damage even after being intimidated. All right. If Kendrick was faster, Anthony should be faster. Ooh, it had a grass berry. Well, at least I know it didn't have like a berry to revive it from being asleep. Oh, but it just died anyway. Cool. What a waste of a berry. Berry couldn't even stop you getting to one HP. Gyarados. I will switch. We're probably gonna intimidate each other, but that should be fine. What can Gyarados have that would be bad for an electric Pokemon? Ancient power? No, not really. Ooh, it's boosting its own defense or attack and stuff. Well, let's see. Can it survive? Oh, it has an electric berry. What are these counters? I guess, I guess it makes sense. Oh, awesome. It makes sense that Quagsire wouldn't have the electric berry because it can't be hit by electric moves. And it makes sense that Gyarados would have the electric berry since it's four times weak to it. That paralyzed was very clutch. Nice. The next time Anthony comes out, I might do Sunny Day just to get rid of the water. Poliwrath. This would be bad for May if May stays out, because Poliwrath is going to have a stupid fighting move. Here's the thing. Do I? Do I do Sunny Day? It hasn't really affected anything yet. Well... Actually, I will. You try and do any status effects to me, and I will resist it. Oh, but that I won't be able to resist. If I could survive it. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, Anthony has dummy defense. <laughs> but maybe Polyreth does as well. It does not. At least not enough to survive a super effective hit. Sharpedo. Uh, it's gonna use Intimidate. So, let's do something different. Oh, I realize this might not actually work on it. Also, this is a terrible switch because Sharpedo's Water Dark. I just wanted someone to... It didn't have Intimidate? 
Oh, because that's rough skin. Well, I mean, since I'm here, might as well heal up. How much am I hurt? 94 plus 50 is 144. I'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> this was... This is a healing switch? I was going to use Hypnosis on it, but it's Dark-type, and I don't think it would affect it. Well, we won't find out. Oh, well, you can take Aftermath, at least. That's what you deserve. It has Speed Boost! Alright, I'm back out. Of course you have Ice Fang. Should have expected that. But I have good defense. And I can't be frozen. It's so much nicer knowing I can't have any... I can't be paralyzed or frozen or poisoned while the sun's out. It's so nice. Hey, our speed hit 101. I think it's the first Pokemon to have a speed higher than 100. Ludicolo. Ooh. Water grass. I always, I always don't know what I could use against it. Flying poison or bug. Well. Still a Brent. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, there goes the sunlight. Oh, but it's not raining anymore either. I just negated all the sprinklers. The opposite of Brock's gym. I'll get a little bit of health back here. What's Ludi Killer gonna do? You flinched! And you're not in red health, so I don't know if the I don't know if the AI would know to use a an, a healing item yet. It did, okay. There must be a certain percentage. I always thought it was red health. Crit it. I crit it. Awesome. There's Brent's super luck ability and air slash with a higher crit chance coming into play there. Floatzel, I think this might be his ace. Let's make sure it doesn't have a good attack stat. Forty-four. Hey, that there. That was a good move. So Floatzel's the evolved form of Weasel. It should be water, pure water. I also think it might just be a special attacker, so lowering its attack probably wasn't all that well. But that'll be. Ha <laughs> ha! It's gone and ended. Now I say this. I want more! I didn't read what his last sentence was. Seems the undertow pulled me under. But I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. You need that Fen badge to use the hidden move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. We got an HM? That HM7 contains the move Waterfall. It's a strong water type move that can flinch the opponent. It has a use in the field too, but my badge would help with that. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. We're not supposed to get an HM from a gym leader. What what were we supposed to get originally? Uh He gives off he gives brine out in the original games, which do we have already?
We don't. Brian is 55. Where do we get Waterfall from? supposed to get it for quite a while <laughs> we're not supposed to get it until we have the badge that lets us use waterfall you know I have noticed I did notice that we had when did we get one of the HMs we already have we got very early as well I don't remember which one it was cut when did we get that I think it was Someone gave us an HM very early, and I don't remember which HM it was. Was it Defog? Hmm. It was Defog. No, 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 no. Defog we're supposed to get in the Celestion Ruins. Rock Smash we're supposed to get in the Orbor Gate, which we did. Fly, we're supposed to get in Veilstone City. Cut, we're supposed to get in Eternity City. So, it actually looks like we've been getting them proper. Oh, that one was, that one's not there because it was moved. And it was made later. I see. Okay. There's an HM that we should have if we were playing Diamond and Pearl. Oh, Cassie, you've beaten the gym leader. So how was it? Did you enjoy your battle against Wake? I mean, crash your Wake. Sure, winning is important, but don't forget to have fun, too. I think Wake, I mean Crasher Wake, showed you what I mean by fun. How are you still getting the name mix up? Oh, uh-oh. Ah, uh, hey, you got the gym badge here, huh? what I tell you, Mr. Wake, I mean the master, it's pretty awesome, hey? What is this racket, then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, Master! Listen, kid. I know your father. I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. Oh, this is Blaine. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria. Not on my watch. Oh, that grunt is about to get destroyed. Hey, Master, wait! Alright, well, we'll probably find out what that's all about next episode. <laughs> We're just gonna take a quick detour and heal our Pokemon. And with that, we have five badges. And as soon as we find out where the heck we get Surf from, which I'm looking at the list right now, uh, if it is in in a vanilla location, we should be getting it soon. Ish. I think we. I think we're. I think we're fine to save it now. So something's about to brew, at least with that galactic grunt that's standing outside the observatory. You know, the one that, looking at the tree, is like, I wish I had explosives and bomb stuff. So, not exactly the smartest tool in the shed. <laughs> but, that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, I mean, we'll go see what the commotion is between uh, Crasher Wake and the Galactic Grunt and Blaine. And, uh, hopefully no one dies. But we'll see. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.